hello friend welcome to plastic product design series so this one is a uh, video number 23 from this series and uh, actually we will we are splitting this video into two half like a uh, step to design the modular system in this video we will discuss and we will upload the second uh, uh, means the second video and the par uh, second part of this video uh, separately and we will discuss there the design guidelines and the design consideration for the effective runner system. So let us discuss the step to design the mode runner system in this video. So if you are new here subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon because we are uh, covering the plastic product design series uh, now and later we will cover the sheet metal, casting and GDNT series so like that we are planning for those series also so if you are new here please subscribe the channel so that you will get the notification and you can uh, improve your knowledge about the plastic product design series or uh, any product design series you are working on that okay so let us discuss the runner system so in previous video we have uploaded the videos on uh, what is runner and the types of runner system so runner system is very important to have the consistent flow in the injection molding and to minimize the wastage and, uh, and reducing the cycle time and maintaining the part quality okay so if uh, our runner system is uh, not properly designed so then there will be the chances of uh, uh, part uh, defects in the uh, product and it will uh, uh, increases the wastage of material okay because there are two types of runner system one it is a cold and uh, another is a hot runner system so in a cold runner system they, uh, generally there is a wastage of material and uh, because of uh, the uh, we are ejecting the part with the runner and the gate and we are trimming the those material so in the previous video we have discussed the same things okay so i'll directly skip to the step to design the mold runner system now okay so the first point we need to uh, consider is the number of cavity so we need to understand the how many number of cavities are there in the mold like uh, it, it will be the single mold it will be the multi cavity mold it will be the fa uh, family mold so like that so based on the uh, uh, number of cavity we will design the pattern of the runner okay and that pattern should be properly uh, balanced so that the all cavity fill at the same time and simultaneously when those cavity will be filled so it will be uh, uh, so we need to ensure that there will be no shortage of material in any cavity so all cavity should fill at the same time uh, so that we will have the defect free product and next is the select the type of runner system so as i told so we have a cold runner system and hot runner system so in a cold runner uh, there is a uh, with the part ejection there is a ejection of uh, this uh, uh, gate and the runner so this this comes out with the part and this will be the uh, after this uh, ejection we are trimming this uh, runner and the gate so this one is a scrap and uh, we can recycle of course after that but uh, this is come out with the product but in a hot runner system uh, runner is actually in a uh, hot head condition and it will uh, keep the uh, molten metal at the stage okay in a molten stage and it will continuously fill the cavity okay in each cycle okay so for a complex part and for a high volume production we use the hot runner system and cold runner system generally we use for a simple part and for a single uh, mold and this hot runner system we use generally use for multi cavity mold like for a complex part okay then there is a runner layout so after under, uh, after getting the uh, idea that how many ca cavities is there in the mold so based on that we will design the runner layout so that runner layout maybe it will be in the circular it will be in the cross it will be in the h type 
so like that based on the uh, number of cavity based on the part size part geometry gate location so based on that we will design the runner layout so our runner layout should be properly designed so that it will fill all the cavity at the same time and runner should be as short as possible so there are number of uh, shapes are there for the runner like it will be in the circular it will be in the trapezoidal half half round okay so uh, most of the time actually full round or the circular type of runners are used because they are most efficient and they minimize the pressure loss and maintain the flow uniformity so generally you can see this one is the first uh, half of the mold and this one is the second like core and cavity so here this one is a machine okay this half round is actually machine from machine from this mold and this half round it will machine from the second half of the mold and rest all these shapes are you can see in a single uh, type of mold like in the cavity side so it is machine from a single uh, mold okay but uh, uh, full round is actually machine from both the mold half half okay so for this the proper alignment of the hoe proper alignment of these two molds are very important and next one is uh, determine the runner size so runner size is actually depends on the material viscosity uh, part size part geometry and the injection pressure requirements generally the runner diameter is varies from 3 mm to 8 mm and uh, uh, for a high viscosity material we use the larger runner and for a low viscosity uh, material we use the smaller runner okay so we need to keep the runner as short as possible to reduce the pressure drop and increase the cycle time and material uses so if the material is too long so at that time it will require the more material to fill the runner and go to the cavity so we need to keep the runner as short as possible and we need to maintain the runner symmetrically so that all cavity uh, all cavity fill at the same time and there will be the balance filling of the material into the cavity and next is very important point we need to select the proper gate location okay so after the completion of this runner topic so we will go to the gate we will understand the gate type of gate so there are number of gates are there and how to design the gates and the choose the location so we will discuss in the separate video so gate location is very important and the correct location we will need, we need to choose on the part so that uh, we will have the defect free product so like uh, if we choose the uh, wrong location of the gate so at that time there will be ch chances of defects like uh, weld line warping and the voids okay so we need to choose the proper gate location uh, so that we will have the easy flow into the cavity and cavity will fill completely and minimize the cosmetic impression so generally we uh, choose the gate location on the surface b uh, 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 not on the surface a so surface a is actually the aesthetic surface so uh, on aesthetic surface we will not uh, uh, locate the gate okay so generally we we'll choose on the surface b so here you can see uh, it is on the visual surface or the aesthetic surface and here the gate location is chosen so this one is the cosmetic in, uh, uh, imperfection means here it should not be here so it is on the inside so that so the gate location is very important so friend i hope you understood the step to design the mold runner system so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and the part 2 of this video will upload in the uh, upcoming days okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video